what's up in this video i'm going to be breaking down my experience in java indonesia across my one month stay on the island it is this long and thin one here as you can see i started in jakarta in the far west and made my way all the way across to banyuwangi java is indonesia's main island much more densely populated than the rest of indonesia and certainly makes it the main place to go and see, despite the fact not many tourists actually spend very long there. I was there during Ramadan, and that basically coincided with the Islamic tradition that everyone fasts for 30 days. And actually being there during Ramadan made it much easier for me uh, because there was much less people taking the trains, it was low season, so it actually made it really easy for me as a traveller because during that period, there weren't many tourists going there. And of course, the locals weren't traveling through the country as much. And so traveling in a country, a Muslim majority country or a Muslim country during Ramadan is often probably not the greatest idea because it really limits your options in terms of, you know, restaurants that open, businesses in general that are open and all kinds of things that you can do. But for somewhere as densely populated as Java, it's actually a good thing. Because if you go at a different time of year, you probably need to book your trains and everything else, maybe one week in advance. And so the good thing about my trip was I could just do it whenever I needed to. Basically on the same day, or even the day before, I could get the train and the train would still have empty seats on. So if you're looking for a good time to travel in Java, don't hesitate to go during Ramadan. So that's just briefly letting you know the situation about Ramadan. And I'll move on to some of the different aspects that you may think are not very safe about Java and I'll go into them one by one. So I'll begin with one of the main concerns that you may have about visiting Java, which is the threat of terrorism. On my first day in Jakarta in early May, there was a few terrorist attacks in the city of Surabaya, which is in East Java. A number of different churches were attacked and a bunch of different uh, bombs went off and exploded and a few people died. You can search for it on the internet, you can find out all the information. And the following day, there was also an attack on the main police headquarters in Surabaya. Now, I don't know the reasons and motivations behind the different attacks and whether it was meant to deter tourism. Certainly no tourists were actually targeted. Um, the attacks were or seemed to be religious in nature as they were targeting Christian churches or again I could be wrong anyone with a lot of information about the background of these attacks you know you can write them in the comments and if it's a worthwhile comment that everyone should read I'll highlight it I'll give it a love a heart and everyone can read it. It did raise some concerns for me because I just arrived in the country and had already bought my flight out of Surabaya uh, and I knew I was going to fly out of there at the beginning of June so I was definitely going to Surabaya in a few weeks time so it was in the back of my mind a little bit um, but by the time I reached Surabaya uh, I was walking around the city just the same as I walked around some of the other cities in Java and I didn't feel any different in Surabaya and I didn't notice anything different about the city now this particular city is the only one that had any issues so you should do your own research about going there and obviously I can only speak on behalf of my experience and my experience was very positive and I felt quite safe in the city and I didn't notice a difference in security presence or anything but one thing in general I would say is that the security presence in Java did seem to be um, more moderate than in other countries I've been to possibly because of those attacks so just bear that in mind but in general traveling across the country there didn't seem to be any sort of ongoing threat of terrorism that seemed to be lurking and in people's tongues on hostels no one was talking about it it was almost like it didn't really happen and I don't think it's um, a dangerous place to go as a tourist I don't think you're going to be targeted by any extremists and it's also important to note that all countries around the world have the threat of terrorism if you look in Europe and if you look in other countries there's been attacks within the last five years also. So you really have to take that into account and yeah, once again, make the decision based on your own uh, judgment. Next up, it's the street food. Um, if you've been to other countries in Southeast Asia before, Indonesia, or I should say Java, stop saying Indonesia, will be no different to those countries like Thailand and uh, Vietnam, uh, Malaysia, for example. 
Uh, there's street food everywhere. You can sit on the side of the road and you know it, you'll get like a plastic chair and table and food is extremely cheap there. Uh, across my month I didn't get ill once. I had no issue with the food and it seemed just about as hygienic as the other countries in Southeast Asia. I didn't really notice a difference, uh, good or bad. Um, yeah, and I eat street food pretty much every day and the food is amazing, so don't be afraid, get stuck into it. If you're not really good with street food, then apply the same rules that you would in any other country in the region. If it's your first time Southeast Asia, you can be more cautious. Personally, I'm vegetarian, so I didn't eat any meat or fish so you can also take that into account how about your personal safety as a solo traveler as someone who is quite clearly a tourist or a white person or a westerner or maybe you're quite obviously japanese or korean and they know obviously you're not a, a javanese so again from my experience i didn't have a single problem nobody tried to mug me nobody tried to uh, make my life more difficult um, really, I did not have a problem and I felt quite safe walking around places at night. Of course, if you're in a big city like Jakarta in a more residential area that isn't too central, then don't walk around on your own with all your money in your wallet and your mobile phone in your pocket at two in the morning. Just use your common sense. If you're going to walk around at that time, do it with one or two other people. Same rules apply as the rest of Southeast Asia. Um, Generally, people are quite friendly. They're always smiling. Actually, I have to really put an emphasis on that. The people in Java are very happy. I really have to say they are some of the friendliest people I've ever met and they're always looking out for you. Um, very few people are out there to try and manipulate you or scam you. There's only one or two in some of the touristy areas. There were a few times where, because the currency is quite confusing, I would pay 50,000 or 100,000 instead of 5,000 or 10,000 because you know you can easily misread one of the noughts on your note and the people it's a lot of money to them would give it straight back to you and say no 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 this is the wrong amount and so they're very trustworthy and they do not try and scam you and sometimes you know you say I'll oh, leave the change it's okay you don't want all these coins and you don't want all this money because the money is such a high amount of noughts and figures um, and they always insist on giving you back the change. It's in the culture. So people are really sincere in that fashion and often the locals are very genuine. So they're not looking at you like a tourist and thinking, oh, I can make a buck here like they do in some other countries around the world. Also, if you're a solo female traveler, I believe the same applies as other Southeast Asian countries. Um, you can dress how you like, don't worry too much about that. I don't think it's too shocking, although you might get stared at a little bit, but not as much as you'd get stared at in somewhere like India, for example. And I don't think you're at that much risk either, because I do believe that the Javanese people understand that Westerners are coming from a different culture and they don't necessarily judge you too much. But if you're visiting mosques, if you're visiting temples, then, you know, cover your shoulders, cover your legs and uh, you know, play by the rules. This point isn't necessarily tied to the aspect of safety as much, but you may think that Java is undeveloped. You might think that it's difficult to get things done. Maybe it's hard to find Wi-Fi. Um, but actually I was super impressed by the development and infrastructure. I found there to be a lot of very new shopping centers restaurants, cafes, all with good Wi-Fi, and also transportation between uh, city to city was very good. Air-conditioned trains, even the cheapest class was comfortable. Um, coach services, buses, also AC, comfortable. Some of them, even on the trains, they sometimes had sockets to charge your electronics and hostels available in virtually all cities and a good reasonable price. For me, something like three to eight pounds a night, roughly in that bracket, depending on where you were. Jakarta's more expensive than the other cities, um, which, is, which is great. So it's very convenient. And getting around Java is surprisingly easy. Now, again, I was there in Ramadan. It was 
less hassle because there were less tourists and less locals getting about the country. However, it's going to surprise you how uh, easy things are there. A couple of smaller points, if you're visiting any of the active volcanoes, check before you go. For example, when I was in Jogjakarta, uh, Mount Merapi was having some small eruptions and it's one of the most active volcanoes in Indonesia. So, of course, if you're going to <laughs> go on a trip to Mount Merapi, um, you would find out that it's not safe during that time. So you have to check all volcanoes and uh, if you're going to do anything um, that's slightly adventurous, then you have to make sure uh, of the local information and most up-to-date information beforehand. Overall, Java is underrated. There's a lot to see and do there. You can spend a whole month like I did. And if you want to extend your stay in Indonesia, you can move on to some of the other islands. Definitely people tend to stop from what I've read in forums and what I've watched on videos and from talking to people in Java for just, you know, a couple of weeks or a week or two, or maybe even less than a week, and then they move on to Bali. So yeah, spend a bit more time there. There's temples, there's volcanoes, there's exciting cities, there's incredible food, there's a lot to do. Are you a traveler and have you ever been to Java? Let me know in the comments below what your experiences were, good or bad. And do you live in Java? Are you a local? Which city are you from? Do you think it's safe for travelers? What do you think about Surabaya and the attacks there? But in general, of course, I think most people are gonna agree with me, locals, and say, yes, Java is extremely safe, which I really do believe. So I recommend you to go there, look at all the information beforehand, and have an amazing trip. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.